Episode 9 is set to end the Skywalker Saga and the sequel trilogy itself by writer and director J.J. Abrams. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, a lot of people are very eager to know more about the teaser trailer and actually see the first set of footage of this movie that will give fans around the world an overall sense of the tone and J.J. Abrams' vision of the final installment of this current trilogy. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the set leaks, the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc. However, when it comes to the teaser trailer, what's really exciting about the first set of footage of Episode 9 is that Disney and Lucasfilm are looking into dropping the first set of footage of this movie this February of 2019 in the form of a production completion teaser trailer. Now, I don't know about you guys, but it seems like that they are trying to do exactly what they did with the last Jedi in a different way. Now, The Last Jedi actually had a production teaser well before we got the actual teaser trailer. So now it's actually like a reverse in a sense where Disney and Lucasfilm are actually debating on whether or not they want to actually push this teaser trailer in the form of a production announcement that principal photography has been completed and that filming is over for the month of February and that's when they will actually drop it next month. So that to me, it sounds like the best way in order to do things because not only are they celebrating something, but we are also celebrating something. For them, they're celebrating that filming has ended, and for us, we actually get to see the first set of footage of episode nine. Now, we have heard before in the past that the title reveal is set to actually be revealed during a major event, and a lot of people are starting to believe that this is actually going to be attached to the Super Bowl of this year. Now, I'm not quite sure if they're gonna do that, by the way, the Super Bowl is on February 3rd, and we do know that they have quite a bit of filming left to do before they end everything in principal photography. So February 3rd seems like it's cutting it close. I'm not quite sure if they're really going to drop it during that. It could be a different major event during the month of February. But nonetheless, I think that, that the fact that they are looking into compiling the teaser trailer in the form of a production completion teaser, I think is fantastic. And I'm really hoping that they do stick with that plan because if you think about it this way, it's not only a great way for the cast and crew to celebrate and actually see what they have done these past couple of months or so, but it's also great for us to see the first set of footage of episode 9. Now, we do know that initially they were going to drop this thing during the month of December, which was ultimately delayed until some point in the first quarter of 2019, this year, which ranges all the way from January all the way till basically April, right before Star Wars Celebration. Now, we do know that April 11th is going to be the full trailer reveal. We're gonna get the actual trailer over at Star Wars Celebration. As far as this teaser goes, it's actually said to be in the form of a production completion teaser trailer, and they're even thinking about throwing in some older pieces of footage from past Star Wars films that lead up to Star Wars Episode Nine as a way to honor the Skywalker saga itself. Now, I don't know about you guys, but if we look at everything that has been happening with the marketing for The Last Jedi and Solo A Star Wars Story, the fact that they are truly trying to change up their marketing style and format for Episode Nine, it really shows us, the fans, that Disney and Lucasfilm are trying their very best in order to make Episode Nine a success. And in order for, to, in order for them to do this properly, I feel like that they really have to start doing something right away this month. Now, this month, I believe the title will drop. You know, we do know it's going to be attached to some major event, so I'm not quite sure if there even is anything big going on during the month of January. But if you look at The Last Jedi, the title dropped, I believe it was January 25th and or 27th, in or around that time frame. And so we can expect to see that title drop during the month of this month, of course, at the very end. Now, if we look at everything that has been happening with Star Wars as a whole, we do know that they do regret the marketing style of Solo A Star Wars Story, and it's exactly why they are actually changing up everything when it comes to their marketing style for Episode Nine. We also know that no Luke Skywalker footage or any kind of promo material will be used in the first phase of the marketing of this movie, which like I say is also very much upsetting and very, you know, kind of sad to hear because I think that a lot of fans going into this movie, they're really looking forward to seeing Luke for the very last time portrayed by Mark Hamill. It's going to be a bittersweet moment for sure. 
As far as this teaser trailer goes, I think that this is a smart move. What do you guys think about this move, about them debating on compiling the footage in the form of an actual production completion teaser trailer and actually having some footage from past films leading up to footage of episode 9 in a way to honor the Skywalker saga. But anyways guys, drop a comment below, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time.